through the waters of Malaysia, past the shores of Thailand, and on to the Myanmar coast, these hardy maritime travellers traverse the Andaman Sea. Three different peoples, the Mokan, the Moklen, and the Iraq Lawoi, they have maintained their own languages and cultures, belonging to no nationality known only as Sea Gypsies. They share a unique relationship with the sea, an ancient wisdom that is derived from the waves. Before the tsunami, the waters gave them signs of impending danger. Rare creatures appeared from the deep, alien to the reefs, and lobster and crab began to migrate. Three days before the tsunami hit, a Mokan shaman was warned by his ancestors in a dream. The Mokan of the Surin Islands were afforded the time to flee, able to take refuge in the mountains, safe from the turmoil. They remained determined to keep their close relationship with nature and their strong supernatural beliefs and traditional spiritual worship still colour many of their ceremonies. The Loi Rua, or Floating Boats Festival, is a twice yearly event where the village men join together to craft a symbolic boat. As wooden statues of themselves are placed inside with nail and hair cuttings and popped rice, it is cast out to sea as a shaman chants sacred words. All the villagers' ill fortune are taken with it, and forgiveness is sought from the spirits that surround them and of the animals that they have killed. Theirs truly is a culture and a people that bridges land and water, as at home on the seas as they are in their island habitats, enjoying a freedom that is rare in this changing world.